Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we're going to dive into car rigging tutorial using the free rigger car add-on in Blender. Whether you're creating animations, simulations, or just want to add realism to your scenes, rigging a car is an essential skill to have in your 3D toolkit. Rigging a car is tedious and time-consuming process. But the Rigger Car add-on can significantly speed up the rigging process by automating the placement of bones and controls for your car animation. This saves time compared to manually setting up a complex rig for a car model. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to rig your car with these, and create endless ways of car animation with a very simple steps to follow. Now, let's start. Step 1, Install the Rigger Car Add-on. The first thing you'll need to do is to download this free add-on, the Rigger Car Add-on from GitHub, the link is provided in the description. Once downloaded, open Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click Install, and select the Rigger Car Add-on file, then Install Add-on. Make sure to check the box to activate the add-on. Step 2, Setting up Car Model. Now, you can see here, I've downloaded the car model for free. You can get it by clicking the link in the description. If you want a different car model, you can download other free car models on sites like Sketchfab or CG Trader. In here, I have CG Trader. Simply type car on search bar and check the free box icon to show all the free car models. Your car model should be aligned in the Y-axis, press number 3 on the keyboard to enter the right side view, and the car should follow this way. After aligning the car in the proper direction, we're gonna separate the tire and brake caliper from the car's main body. Now, you can notice that when I select the tire, it also selects the brake caliper. To separate this, while the tire is selected, go into edit mode by hitting tab. Select the brake caliper, then press Ctrl plus L on the keyboard, to select the entire selection, then press P, to separate the objects by selection. Next, I will just repeat the steps on the other tires. Now, we have successfully separated the caliper from the tire, and the result should look like this. Next, hide all the tires and brake caliper by pressing H on the keyboard, this will help you to work easily on the car body. Now, press A on the keyboard to select all the body parts and Ctrl J to join all the parts. As you can see, the car body components are now joined into one mesh, but there's some issue here, the car emblem distorts and splits into half after joining them. The reason being it's because the mirror modifier has not yet been applied to body parts. We don't want that, to fix that, press A to select all the car body parts, then while holding shift, select on the car emblems to deselect the emblems, then while holding shift, select the car body to set it as an active object, then press Ctrl J to join the car body parts. Now, we have successfully joined the body parts into one mesh, except the car emblems. Next, with the car body selected, go to modifier tab, and simply apply the mirror modifier. Now, select the car emblems and car body, then join all of them by pressing Ctrl J. Now, the issue on car emblem distortion is already fixed, we can now select the car body and its emblems as one mesh, and the result should look like this. Next, unhide the tires and brake calipers by pressing Alt plus H. With all car parts selected, go to Object, Set Origin, then Origin to Geometry. This moves the origin to the center of the object. Next, we're gonna apply Scale Transformation, because the scale of our object is not in the right value. To do that, Select all car parts by pressing A, then go to, Object, Apply, then Scale. Step 3, Car Rigging. To create a car rig, you should first rename the objects. Now, 
we have nine objects, the car body, the tire and brake caliper on each wheel, we're gonna give a specific name on each part, this process is required, because this will help the rigger car add on to know where the armature should be placed, and for your convenience, I have already prepared the list of names for each part, you can check it on the description, so you can just copy and paste it. Now select the main part of the car, rename it car dash body. Select tires and brake calipers according to their positions. The front left tire, rename it as car dash wheel dot ft dot l. The front right tire, rename it as car dash wheel dot ft dot r. The back left tire, rename it as car dash wheel dot bk dot l. The back right tire, rename it as car dash wheel dot bk dot r. The front left brake wheel, rename it as car dash wheel brake dot ft dot l. The front right brake wheel, rename it as car dash wheel brake dot ft dot r. The back left brake wheel, rename it as car dash wheel brake dot bk dot l. The back right brake wheel, rename it as car dash wheel brake dot bk dot r. Next, after renaming all the parts, we can now add an armature to the car. To do that, press A to select all the parts, go to add, armature, then click car, deformation rig. Now, you can see that there are bones added to the car model. Now, you can check if the bones are added properly to their positions. If you encounter some issues, make sure you renamed each object correctly. Next, we can now generate the rig for the car model. To do that, select all the bones, then press N on the keyboard. Go to rig a car tab. Then click the generate button, after clicking, you can see that the animation controls have now been added to the car model, and is now ready to be animated. You can test the controls to ensure that everything works fine. Now, we have successfully installed the rig on the car. We can now start to animate the car according to our liking. Step 4, Animation. To create our car animation, go back to object mode. Then we're gonna create a path for the car to follow. To do that, go to add, curve, then path. As you can see, the path is created. Change the Z rotation into negative 90 degree. Select the path, and go to edit mode. Press 7 on the keyboard to go into top view, then create a pathway in the direction you like. You can do this by pressing E to extrude the path. Next, change the resolution of the path into 128. This helps us to create smoother animation. Now, we're gonna attach the car and follow this path. To do that, click the car rig, then press Ctrl Tab to enter into pose mode, go to bone constraint, add bone constraint, then select follow path. Next, for the target, select our path. Then for the forward axis, select negative Y, select fix position, then follow curve. Now, you can see that as I change the value of the offset factor, the car follows the path. The value of 0 is the starting point and value of 1 is the ending point of the path. Next, put the timeline indicator into the first frame. Place the cursor into the offset factor, then press I. This will create a keyframe, then go into the last frame, change the value into 1, then press I to add another keyframe. Now, as we play the animation, you can see that the car follows the path. Next, to change the speed, just drag the last keyframe close or away from the first keyframe. I'm gonna drag the last keyframe away from the first keyframe. This will slow down the animation. As you can see, the car moves but the wheels are not spinning and reacting to the path curves. To animate the wheels, just click on the car rig and go into pose mode, go into rig a car tab, then press bake a car steering. This will create a keyframe for the car steering, as it animates. Now, the car's steering follows the path. Next, select bake wheels rotation, this will now animate the wheels rotation as the car moves. As you can see, the wheels rotation and steering are now animated. 
Cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, just comment them below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next. Bye.